Today's video is sponsored by Balesa. Balesa is a sexual wellness company run by women, for women, and for everyone else, too. Balesa's mission is to empower everyone to embrace, explore, and celebrate their sexuality. Just like we're going to touch on in this video, no pun intended, Balesa wants everyone to know that masturbation is part of self-care. It releases feel-good hormones like dopamine and oxytocin, as well as endorphins, the body's natural defense against stress and pain. Masturbation is a healthy and natural way to relax your body and mind after a long day, and Balesa's catalog of toys makes every experience sensationally unique. Balesa makes it a point to be inclusive, and they make a wide range of toys for all preferences, genders, and sexualities. For this video, they sent me their Pebble Vibe. The Pebble is a petite little toy that offers varying levels of vibration as well as suction, so you can adjust the intensity for either setting to as strong or as subtle as you like. The Pebble is also waterproof, so you can take it along with you in the shower. It also comes with a cute little carrying case that also functions as a charging hub, so you can be as discreet as you'd like like to be when traveling and when charging. Balesa offers everyone a free gift card or a free toy with sign up, so click the link in my description to get yours. Again, no pun intended. Thank you, Balesa, for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to the art piece. The following video touches on topics that may be upsetting to some audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Growing up, I always felt like the ugly one of the friend group. I thought my nose was too big, my eyes were too small, my tummy was too pudgy. I felt undesirable, so I hid myself away in baggy clothes, in dark colors, in silly, flashy accessories, so people would look at those instead of at me and my body. I struggled with addiction, mental health issues, ED, and my, my body and mind were in constant flux, ebbing and flowing and fighting each other. Inside it was a constant battlefield, my entire teen and young adult life. Then one day, when I was a barely a teenager, I got some attention from an older person and we started seeing each other secretly, which probably should have been a red flag. And thus began my very toxic relationship with sexuality. Because I had felt so ugly before that relationship, I feel I was even more desperate for sexual approval. I was addicted to feeling desired, and that meant I gave myself to anyone who would have me, even if that person was cruel. I figured that I was lucky to be desired at all and that beggars can't be choosers. I just turned my mind off and let these people poke and prod at my flesh. I let them love me in their way. And for a moment, I would feel good. I would feel wanted, but then it was gone. When I finally got a hold on my mental health and my sobriety, sex became distant to me, totally distant. I was so focused on taking care of myself that I disregarded sex and all things sexual. In fact, I worried that any kind of sexuality might be a hindrance on my recovery process, which in some cases can be true. It's, it's a very difficult and complex subject for a lot of people. So I stayed away from sex for a while until I ended up in a serious relationship. And even then I felt detached from sex. I could still feel good physically, but there was still a, a major component missing. And I had no idea what that component was. And at that point I was still, I was just too fragile to even ask myself to find out. Over time and as that relationship came to a close, I started to analyze my sexuality more thoroughly. I began to dissect the pieces that felt wrong, and as I connected the dots and fragments, I saw a clearer picture of what was missing. My brain was never in sync with my body. My mind was always somewhere else, completely detached, floating in space whenever I was engaging in anything sexual. So I set out on a mission to try and reconnect what was lost. 
I started making a concerted effort to feel safe and feel comfortable with my own sexuality again. I knew in order to feel safe, it all had to start with just me in the bedroom. Slowly and with a lot of care, I learned to love myself again. I learned what felt good, what didn't, and pretty much everything in between that. I learned that sexuality didn't always have to be this super sexy entity. I didn't need to wear sexy lingerie to feel good. I could make myself feel good while wearing sweatpants and a t-shirt with my hair in a bun. In removing the external commodification of sex, taking away the idea of always having to look good or lay in a certain sexy pose, you know, doing things to please someone else's gaze. Removing all of that, that really helped me to focus on repairing my relationship with sexuality. Loving myself became a ritual of self-care, self-intimacy, and most importantly, self-understanding. And in the end, it was just, it was a journey back to myself. And it's absolutely a journey worth taking. Hey guys, I hope you liked that video. I decided to take it in kind of a slightly different direction. I really like doing videos that have a little bit more of a serious tone that really focus on the symbolism of the artwork and I can kind of share some of my experiences. And you know, I feel like in the past there's sort of been a dissonance between the art that's featured in the video versus the video topic itself. So I feel like going forward, um, I'd like to throw in some of these videos that have a bit more of a serious topic and tone um, that are more focused on talking about the art piece and what it means, what it doesn't mean, what it could mean. And you know, when I first started this YouTube channel, I told myself I never wanted to make content that I myself wasn't happy and excited to make. And I feel like I'm at a junction in my life where I want to add some new to the old. I'm still in love with the old. I still love making the fun art supply videos and the silly videos. I'm still in love with that specifically because I have followed that rule. I've made a concerted effort to, you know, take breaks from those things so that I can still love them and find room for them in my heart and enjoy making them. Also, I just want you guys to know that I'm going to have new merch in my crowd-made merch store. So keep your eyes peeled for either a YouTube community post or a tweet on Twitter announcing when that is all available. I'm also going to be doing an Etsy drop with hand embellished prints, some originals, some stickers, and potentially a button pack. We'll see how much I'm able to get done. And I am still working on my book and I'm really, really excited to start sharing little bits and pieces with you guys. I have a sketchbook completely dedicated to it. It started out as one thing and then turned into another thing and then potentially maybe a series. Um, and I'm just trying to work on the characters and the the environment and all the different stories and I'm just I'm really excited to share that with y'all so go ahead and follow me on my socials for updates on all of that. Thank you again to Belessa for sponsoring this video and don't forget to click the link in my description because everybody who signs up either gets a free toy or a free $30 gift card. Again thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to stay out of trouble. See you guys later.